The following is a paid presentation of Guthy Ranker Corporation. Last year, you watched in amazement as Victoria Principal took off her makeup on national television to reveal her 19-year secret to young, healthy-looking skin. Now she's back, together with friend and actress Joanna Kearns, to share her latest breakthroughs for keeping your skin looking young and beautiful. Now let's join Victoria in her shower. I've invited you into my shower because I want you to see for real that this is my clean skin. No makeup, no foundation, just me. She had no idea that, you were gonna that be I was going oh. to be there. So join me and see what happens. This will be fun. I, I said that in my letter. I said, I'm not kidding. You know, you, know, you, you have to try this product. And Oh, no! <laughs> with the gel and the, um, the moisturizer. I mean, you can see I've been out already for about four hours and there's nothing there. It's still really moist. And even when I touch it, it, it feels moist. Let her sit down for a minute. She'll call you back and continue your reading. How about that? Oh, that's one feeling like it's going to get a little heavy. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I okay. All right. Thank you. You know, we received of letters from callers telling us what has happened as a result of calling the Psychic Friends Network. As a matter of fact, a young man named Gary Foster, an auto body paint specialist from Fort Worth, Texas, may well owe his life to the psychic. Gary came to work expecting a normal day in the paint booth. He spent all morning preparing a car to be painted. A seemingly routine morning for Gary, but this was not to be a routine day. Lunchtime came around and Gary was suddenly struck with the urge to call the psychic friend. And he was lucky he did. Linda Thompson was happy to hear from Gary, one of her regular clients. Gary's psychic friend, who had been helping him for years, was again there for him with another amazing psychic prediction. Linda immediately began to sense danger around Gary. She saw a terrible fire breaking out in the paint booth and Gary smothering in smoke. She couldn't tell what would cause the fire, but she was sure it would happen very soon. Linda pleaded with Gary to take the rest of the day off, but this was one time he did not follow the advice of his psychic friend. After lunch, Gary returned to the booth. He continued working, but then began to feel lightheaded and decided to take a break. Just as Linda predicted, something terrible was about to happen. As Gary sat swallowing his aspirin, the highly combustible paint booth became consumed in flames. Knowing his boss was waiting, Gary returned to work. Fire was everywhere. All Gary could think about was saving his co-workers from their impending doom. The garage was completely destroyed. Gary's brush with death has further convinced him of the power of his psychic friend. Remember Ricky and Yasmin? Oh, sure. I'm with this man right now, and uh, we're, we're planning to move in together, like move into a brand new place together, a place that I just bought, and uh, I think we're both a little nervous about it, and I, I kind of know yeah. what your feelings, I kind of want to know what your feelings are on, on the subject, and she goes, good, only good feelings, it's going to happen. Well, Dan, we have the latest on the couple who knows how to use the Psychic Friends Network to make their relationship work. The last time that we, uh, we talked with you, we were just getting together, really. We had just met. You know, we, we, were ju we were just starting to date and everything. And when I spoke to my psychic, she was saying that, uh, you guys, I see longevity for you. I see you guys being together. And it's, here we are. It's a year, it's a year later. Things are going great. Well, it's not like calling a family member and getting uh, to someone. You know, all family members, they want to marry you off right away. And so they're like, oh, go for it, go for it, go for it. But you want someone who really has an unbiased and That opinion. also puts it in sort of perspective, you know, saying not to rush things, not to listen to other people. It gives you peace of mind to, to talk to somebody like, you know, that tells you to reassure you not to, uh, not to feel that pressure. And we like it like that, don't we? Absolutely. I'm here in Hollywood at the studio, and we have a, a guest of ours here who would like to have a reading. Great. Would you give her one, please? Sure. I'm okay. ready. Okay. Here she is. 
Have some psychic fun, Lynn. Okay. This is a family show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know that. But you know, we have to. We have no choice. We've got to let people know how you've brought love and happiness into the life of Todd Weston. Oh. Todd Weston is one of Linda Georgian's regular clients, and today he only wanted to know about his love life. As usual, Linda was there to help him through this moment of crisis. Linda saw that Todd would soon meet someone very special in the produce section of his local supermarket on a Saturday afternoon. Linda saw the girl as having long brown hair and that somehow stars and moons would be involved. Todd hung up the phone excited. That Saturday, Todd went to the supermarket, but to his disappointment, he saw no women fitting Linda's description. But the following Saturday would be an entirely different story. One of Todd's friends was giving a pool party, and Todd was really enjoying himself. Linda's amazing prediction could not have been any further from his mind. It was his turn to make the drinks. There wasn't much orange juice left, and so Todd was elected to go to the market and buy some fresh oranges to juice. He wasn't happy about leaving the party, but someone needed to get the juice. Todd was anxious to get the oranges and return to the party, but Linda Georgian's prediction was about to come true. There, perusing the fresh-squeezed orange juice, was Todd's dream girl. Todd moved in and tried to strike up a conversation. Not knowing what to say, he told Christy of Linda Georgian's prediction. After all, it was Saturday afternoon. They were in the produce section. But the real clincher was the stars and the moons. Christy was wearing stars and moons earrings. Christy wasn't sure whether to believe him, but decided his story was too crazy not to be true. Todd brought more than orange juice back to the party, and the rest is Psychic Friends history. Ladies and gentlemen, Todd and Christy. Yeah. Hello. How are you? That was really hot. I loved the little tape. Why don't you elaborate? Okay. Uh, I've been uh, seeing Linda for about three years now mm -hmm. and uh, getting readings from her. And most of the time, she's extremely accurate. But this time in particular, she was right on the money. Yeah. Move it and have fun with it. You know, I've been working out most of my adult life, and I don't think there's anything better than the Stair Climber Plus. It relieves tension, you can firm and tone your body, and you can burn fat. The Stair Climber Plus, it is the total workout system.